Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to install um, something new. It's called Chasm Workspaces. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through the basics of how to install it on your local home server and pretty much how to get it up and running. Um, this video is sponsored by Chasm. So shout out to them and thank you for sponsoring the video and I hope you enjoy. So um, without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so to get started here, we are on our Proxmox environment. This is my home server. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over here and go to create a VM. Um, we're just going to go ahead and give this a name of Chasm. And then we are going to use the ISO image of Ubuntu 20.04. You're going to want to make sure that you're using the live server environment, not the desktop environment. So I'm going to do the live server. All oh, that's fine. Okay, for disk space, we're going to go ahead and give it 256 gigs. And then for CPU, I'm going to go... My CPU, I only have four cores, so I'm just going to give it the maximum of four cores. And I'm going to pass through the host. And for memory, I'm going to give it 16 gigs. So I'm just going to do like 16, 234. And then for network, we're going to leave all of this alone. And we're just going to go ahead and start the VM. Okay, so now that the virtual machine has started, um, you're going to go ahead and go through the steps of installing Ubuntu. So um, we're just going to go ahead and continue without updating real fast. We're going to do done. Um, go ahead and skip that. Let's just let you know the IP. Done, done. Uh, we are going to use the entire disk. Done, done. Go ahead and hit continue. For your name, we're just going to go ahead and name this Chasm. Um, server's name, we're going to call this Chasm as well. Um, for a username, I'm just going to go with my name and then a password. Okay, and then we can click done. We do want to install OpenSSH. Done. Uh, we don't really need none of these, so just go ahead and click done. And now we're going to let it go through the installation process of installing Ubuntu. Uh, we'll come back as soon as this is ready. Now that um, it is done here, I'm going to show you a little trick that I don't like to do, but it will save you quite a bit of time instead of sitting here waiting. Um, you can see here at the top corner it says install complete. Um, let's just go ahead and close out of this window and open back up Proxmox. What we're going to do is we're going to click over here to um, shut down and we're going to click on stop. So just go ahead and stop the container from running. You're going to click on your hardware and you are going to go to your ISO image right here. Go ahead and remove the ISO and you're going to go to options. Make sure that your boot order has your hard drive on it, which looks good. Go back over to console and go ahead and press start. And now what this is going to do is this is going to bypass doing all those little updates during the install because it's technically already installed on the hard drive, so now it's just going to go ahead and boot right up into the server. Okay, so now you can see here like we're getting welcomed with the Chasm login screen. I'm going to let this kind of do its little bit of catching up here before I go ahead and log in. Okay, so we're back here at the Chasm login screen. I'm just going to go ahead and get logged in with the username I chose, the password. Now you can see I'm logged in and I have quite a bit of updates. I have 171 updates and 124 of these updates are standard security updates. So this is because of the fact of that we did shut it down and then we went ahead and loaded it back up. So what I'm going to show you was the next steps I take. So I'm going to go ahead and do an IP add right here just so I can get the IP address. We can see that it's under 62. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to SSH into the server um, only because of the fact of that Proxmox, when it comes to copying and pasting, really, really sucks. Um, you just don't want to use Proxmox. So we're going to SSH into the server on 62. 
and it's just saying, hey, you know, you haven't used the server before. Are you sure? So I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. Go ahead and input the password. And you can see I'm SSH'd into the server. So what I'm going to do now is I can actually go ahead and close out of Proxmox. And we are going to double window this along with our code for the Chasm install. So for the Chasm install, I will link the, um, down in the description below all the commands we're going to use. Um, let me just go ahead and zoom this in so it's easier for people to read. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is I actually want to go through the process of installing Nala, which Nala is basically an alternative to doing like how you do like a sudo apt update. Um, rather than doing apt, you're going to use Nala. It just basically gives you a prettier interface. So I do prefer Nala instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this first line right here, paste that in. Let's see. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and come right here and do a sudo apt update and sudo apt install not a legacy. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And then from there, once that is finished, you can actually go ahead and run Nala. Let's see. So I have run into this issue before. Um, it just does, does happen quite frequently. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is I have another list of commands right here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and create a solution to where we can update easier. So I'm going to put this in and I'm going to put this command in. And like I said before, don't worry about doing this as we go. I will put, you know, all of these commands down in the description below so you can just copy and paste. Um, we're going to go ahead and do add this to the sources list. And then from here, we should be able to go back and install Nala now. So now this should be able to pull Nala just like we wanted it to before. Okay, so as you saw there, that's pretty much what it looks like to do a update with apt, but we don't want to use apt anymore, so we're just going to go ahead and run Nala now. So this is what Nala looks like. Nice. So Nala is just a, basically a prettier interface that will show you, so it lays everything out. So you can see here we have 166 packages that are going to be upgraded. It'll pull up a list and it tells you here it's going to auto remove two packages, install 11 of them, and upgrade 166 of them. AM it shows you how far it's going so far, how long it's going to take, how much internet it's using as far as, you know, megabytes per second or megabits <laughs> per second. And then it's just going to go ahead and update the packages. So it's just a lot nicer to look at compared to looking at app. Now that it's done, um, just as a general rule of thumb, I do like to reboot the system because as you can see here, it does say that the following packages do require a reboot on the system. So we're just going to go ahead and do a sudo reboot for the system. We're going to go ahead and give that a moment to reboot. Let's go ahead and clear it. Uh, we will do an SSH back into it. And once it prompts us with the password, we will know that it is officially connected. So you can see here, like I just did it again, and now it's prompting me for my password. So let's get logged back in real fast. And you can see here, zero updates can be applied immediately. So the system is fully up to date now. So Chasm is saying you have to have at least one gigabyte of um, swap partition for every like um, basically session you're going to be running simultaneously. So I'm just going to go a little bit above that and I'm going to do a swap partition of five gigs. So um, over here we're going to go ahead and do this first line. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. Once my password. Let's go ahead and let this run. So now you can see here it's created it. We are going to go ahead and change the permissions. And 
we will go ahead and make the swap. Okay, and we will go ahead and make sure the swap is turned on. And we will go ahead and cat into swaps just to make sure that the swap is there. So now you can see MNT 5 gigabyte swap is there. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this echo command. What this is basically going to do is this is pretty much going to link our swap partition to our FS tab and it's going to allow it to run every single time we boot the virtual machine. So let me go ahead and paste this in there and we're good to go. So now what we're going to do is go through the process of actually installing Chasm Workspaces itself. So to do this, we're going to want to travel into the temp directory. Once in the temp directory, we will paste in a curl command. And it shouldn't take very long. I believe, I believe it's about 15 megabytes roughly. So hopefully it won't take too long. Okay. So now that that is finished, um, it probably only took about two. Or actually you can see here, it only took about nine seconds. So, uh, we will run a tar command to go ahead and extract that. Let me see here. There we go. Okay, and now we will go ahead and bash the install. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to do just run through my basic docker commands. One eternity later. Okay, so now that that's done, um, no joke, it took roughly about 30 minutes to complete this installation of Chasm. So I'm just giving you a heads up when installing Chasm, it's going to go through and it's going to pull all the images that it needs to pull, and it's going to take a quite a bit of time. So uh, set aside at least 30 minutes for this install, but once it's finished, you will be greeted with this screen right here. Um, it does. It just says your username and your password right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up a web browser. On the web browser, you're just going to go ahead and type in HTTPS. We're going to go to 192.168. Zero sixty-two, which is the IP of the uh, virtual machine. You're going to get greeted right here. Click on advanced and proceed. And this is the login for Chasm. So the email, you're just going to go ahead and pull this up right here. So the email is going to be admin at Chasm local, Chasm dot local. And then your password is right here as well. So just go ahead and copy and paste that in and log in. Okay, so once you're logged into Chasm, um, let's go ahead and we're gonna, first we're gonna go ahead and change the password. Okay, so to change the password, you're gonna click over here in this little corner right here in the top uh, right hand corner, and it's gonna see, you're gonna see admin, click on edit profile, and then you're gonna see reset password in the top right here. Click right there, go ahead and paste in the password that it gave you, and then go ahead and create a new password. Okay, and then you will see uh, reset password successful. So next time we log in, we will be able to log in with the password that we made. And then in the next video, we're going to go ahead and go into more debt with Chasm. Now that we know how to install it, we're going to go into Chasm, show you what it's all about, go over workspaces and everything. So 
I'll see you in the next one. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.